Divine greetings, it's me, Kat, once again. Um, I, I had been saying I wanted to upload some more prediction videos, and I haven't uploaded them because I haven't felt led to do so until now. I have a video that I did, uh, and this was uh, predictions for um, technology that I recorded two years ago, and I haven't uploaded it yet but I'm drawn to do it now. So I'm gonna post this one first and then after this video, I'm going to share that video. This particular prediction is going to be about the future of transportation. Okay, so what we're seeing is a coming into balance with harmony and technology together as we advance spiritually and vibrationally we are by default learning how to work with the planet and bridge that science and spirituality together as the ancients did or advanced civilizations did in the past and or future whichever way you want to interpret that the ancients who were actually more advanced than we are in this present time understood that so as far as transportation is concerned we're going to see uh, a lot of the pollutants gone we're going to be seeing emerging with light frequencies and natural charging meaning we're going to see transportation take on a new light when it comes to how do i put this so <clears throat> A new system is going to be put in place where we're going to be having um, uh, mass transportation based on light and that can be in the form of a lunar or solar and or a combination of the two so we're talking about tracks right instead of tracks being run the way they are now like when you think of the train systems and um, buses and vehicles and things like that Everything is going to be run based on nature, um, power, lunar, solar. And some of these technologies in the far, far future will be merging with our consciousness, meaning we will be able to move about based on conscious thought and the ability to manipulate that matter in the form of some sort of transitory system. I don't want to say car train or bus because it's probably not going to be set up that way so we're seeing highways that are going fast based on light right we're not putting any pollutants into the environment or anything like that um, and we're learning how to do that in a way that it is consistent with harmony with nature and the transportation is going to be quite fast in comparison to what we are experiencing now we're going to see a global transportation system put into place that is also less restrictive and quite fast networks are going to be placed all over energetic earth grids or energy points on the planet I'm trying to see how to put this if you see the planet and you see the planet is alive and you see that it has energy grids right these grids will once we discover these grids exist rediscover rather because a lot of us ancient people are back again so we're gonna be doing this we're gonna be working in all kinds of fields including uh, agriculture technology transportation uh, all of this right so once we dis rediscover these energy grids we can connect them based on systems of light and it will be easier for us to be one it'll be easier for us to travel back and forth to actually commune with other people all over the world so this separation and division thing that's low vibrational uh, when we surpass that then we begin to see a transportation also 
surpassing the basic of what it is right now and everything really just comes together the more unified we are vibrationally and consciously the more unified we're going to become physically in the 3d as well because as above below right cities will be different uh, the way architecture is done will also be redone in the old ways so that it is in harmony with the environment and the planet and long lasting. The buildings that are here now, we won't see those buildings thousands of years from now. But what we will see are the, the remnants of what we're going to be creating in the far future. When our future, future, future descendants look back on this planet, they'll see the ancient structures being put back in place. A lot of people actually are, I've, I've read, I've seen some things recently um, about some people who are wanting to rebuild back on these ancient sites. And, and, and the ancient cultures did that. If you notice certain places in the world, the pyramids uh, and some of the um, sacred sites, over time we have gone back to these sites and rebuild back on top of these sites and we keep rebuilding and rebuilding and why because once we understand the nature of the power of these sites we understand why uh, these structures are in place in these specific points on the planet just think about the pyramids certain pyramids in egypt and in mesoamerica are actually in uh, alignment with the planetary star systems of Sirius and other places and, and those are power points and those are also points of communication so I don't want to get too far out here um, because if you don't know about that I don't want to confuse you this is basically just a prediction right and in the next video I'm, I might as well just talk about it now the predictions for technology also are going to be uh, in alignment with light um, social media is going to be different and it's not going to exist in the way that we're seeing it now. Um, social or conscious interaction. Maybe I should put it this way. Interaction of consciousness between individuals will be done at an energetic conscious level. The way you have your social media set up right now, for instance, uh, you have groups, you have events that you want to tune into, right? This is all going to be done consciously. Holographic technology is also going to be extremely advanced in that we will connect our consciousness to light. It, our consciousness and light is going to be connected in so many different levels. It's going to be crazy. It's, it's hard for me to explain how this is going to be done, but it's just, it's, it's annoying and it's something I'm, I, I see. So if you want to connect with people that you care about consciously, um, you want to go to an event, you can consciously connect yourself there through the manipulation of light waves um, in connection with your physical avatar or your body, right? So it's basically like holographic technology. You want to be somewhere, you can project yourself there. You can project your avatar physically there. And it'll be just as if this person is standing in front of you. Just think about Star Trek type of technology. <clears throat> and that is, um, writers of those types of shows channel the future. And so this is why this technology, if you can think of it, it exists somewhere. It, it has existed and it's going to be existing again. So this connection between light and consciousness is going to be very much an integral part of how we operate as we move less away from the physical or the density of the 3d and we move more into 4d and 5d consciousness um their reliance of physicality becomes less and less so that's where we're headed okay so i just wanted to leave that out there i probably will do more prediction videos as they come to me uh, but that's it for now. Blessings, love, and light.